Hey guys, hope you're having a great day as well as a great life out here. Linda Ronstadt, I believe is how you say that last name. Ronstadt. There's like a DT. It's cool. It's definitely silent. It's definitely. It has to be. There's at least one of those that's silent. Yeah. One of those. So Linda Ronstadt. So you guys have been asking for it. Um, We've been trying to hit more female artists. Uh, This is such a cool album cover, like very minimalist. Like with like just the black and it kind of blends into her hair and I then like see. I it's, see it's it. pretty cool. I see it. Yeah, oh, pretty face. I dig it. And she's got a cool jacket. Like I don't know why the zipper is cool, like a cool little textural thing, but she's got like a jacket zip. It's cool. It just works. It. works. it really does work. It's been time to hit her for a minute. We've been asked, and we're here to to fulfill, follow we're, through, to follow through. So we are ready for it. Linda Ronstadt, you are no good. Hopefully, this is a great song. We shall see. Let's do it. Let's do it. Unfortunately, the video got blocked. So we're going to do what we always do. It's going to be on Patreon for free. Link in the description. If you have any trouble at all, it's supposed to be for YouTube audiences. So go on there. It's free for everybody to see. With that being said, on to the reaction. Nice fade. Literally still going. Very, very cool. Dude, that guitar was so tasty. Very, very cool. So tasty. I think everything harmonically, like sound wise, like mm-hmm. I don't know who the producer was for this, but really, really talented because not only was the song good, chorus was really, really done well, her voice was amazing, the instruments were great, mm-hmm. but just the tonality of everything, like the keyboard having that kind of like vibrating, like vibrato mm-hmm. in it, mm-hmm. um, the way the guitar, like there was like seven different guitar tones. That was a lot. When each one of them fit really, really well. How do you feel about the whole little, like uh, when, when it got a little dissonant with the guitar? And then had the other guitar tone come up in like that slightly lower register with the kind of the thicker tone, kind of mirroring the same thing. Like, I, I so it? I loved it. That's the actually the only like bad part of the whole song to me. Yeah. Because I thought it was just too jarring. I loved the sound of it, and I loved the sound of every one of those sections. But especially in that little part, it felt like it like it, it like had this weird dissonance, and then added this thing sounded great. Mm-hmm. And then it, and then it right as soon as it sounded great, it took it away and went to something kind of like totally different for the solo. And I was like, oh, really? I actually like uh, didn't like how it started at first, but then I liked it when they added that other instrument that went into like, that lower register, like kind yeah. of mirroring it. That's why I liked it. I loved it there, but it only sat there for like three seconds. And then it like immediately switched to where it's, it didn't sound like it was even playing it in the back. And it was like doing this cool guitar thing, which was also cool. But it was just like so many transitions. I was like, oh man, like sit with it. Like do like get a better transition. No, in. They did it good because then they, they did sit with that part for a second. Like for like literally a bar. It was, it was more than a bar. I don't know about that. <laughs> you just did something so magical with that like lower toned guitar. Mm-hmm. I wish you would have just built around that and done a solo, or built around that to do something rather than like feeling like you totally like all right, wipe that away. Let's do something else. I get what you're saying. I feel like I didn't like it at first when it went into those note choices, but once they added the lower guitar was when I was like, That's the lower cool. guitar was so That's cool. cool. It just like made it great. It really did. It it added something to it where at first I I liked it, but I wasn't sold. That sold me on guitar. It. Definitely sold me on it. But the the end result is w- one bar is not enough. Yeah, you should have played more. <laughs> should have played more. Every part was great. Like this was wonderfully arranged. Wonderfully yeah. arranged. I love the rhythm guitar just in general. Like when the song first started, mm-hmm. it was like it's like easy listening. But if you're really listening, it's like it's got a little little dirty to it. A little, little dirt. Yeah, this is definitely some skill. There's some some skill and some like reservation in the guitar playing that yeah. uh, that like only somebody who's very good at guitar playing could do. Yeah, and we read right before this that uh you know she basically uh the Eagles were her backing band for a hot minute before they became the Eagles. Yeah, that's freaking cool. Yeah, so that's, that's pretty. Cool shit. Was it before they became the Eagles? I think so. It was before the, like before they were even the Eagles. They were really like, her backing band. I may totally be misquoting information if I am. Either way, we did read they nicely. were the backing band, period. So e- either way, like, incredible musicians. So it, like, makes sense why she has so much powerhouse behind the playing. Now, I don't know if they were in a studio as well, but either way, really, really cool. Um, fun. Her voice was phenomenal. <sighs> yeah, killer. killer. How about, how about the, the song Meaning? No good Let's me. Well, let's look at the lyrics real fast. Let's do it, man. Blame him if he said to me, you're no good. Oh, so did she like leave a guy at one point for a different guy or something like so, that? So, okay, so here's how it sounded. Now, for one, you guys have been begging us to go back to the reading the lyrics thing, and we will. So this is clearly one where it was important. I would not have gotten this meaning had it had it not been there. Yeah, And this is 100%. so important because it's like it completes the story. This, to me, like bumps it up a letter grade. Yeah, because it brings it from being like a one-dimensional concept, and now it's like, oof, yeah. it's more dynamic this, now. This shit has a moral now, you know? Where yeah. it's like, okay, I broke a gentle and kind person's heart over someone like you, who you broke my heart, and I did the same thing to this guy. I would even blame him if he said the I, same thing to me. Yeah. It's like, whoo. 
Ooh. Gosh, that's character development. Damn, Linda. Is it development just being aware? I think, yeah. 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 The character development enough. Enough for a song, you know, for four minutes of development. I, I think it's. Yeah, that's that's a really good concept because you could have easily just had it like, like had left it at like being like, yeah, you're no good for me. You treated me bad or whatever and just left it and kept yeah. going the whole song. And, you know, all the girls listening in the time would have been like, yeah, you know, but doing that, that just totally makes it like that much more mature. Yeah. It does, mature is the right word. Um. Wow. All right. In cool. Real. Cool. Uh. What do you What do you rate it? A. I I think I, I think A for this for me. A. Because I think just by her voice, one of the things I noticed, I like the chorus, I like the verse a lot, but I heard her voice and I know she's got like more sauce. And I really just kind of like want to dive in and like hear like whatever her freaking opus is. Like I want to hear this girl freaking. Mm. I I loved her voice. I loved the instrumentation. I loved the chorus. So good. I loved good. the meaning of the song. I thought it was really good, really poetic, and very simple. Like literally two phrases made up the whole like meaning of the story, and it was or not two phrases, two like stanzas, it, like painted it beautifully. Didn't need anything else. Um, very close to an A plus on this one for me. I think it's just some of the uh, choices arrangement wise weren't my favorite, and that was basically it. I thought it was incredible, incredible, especially at the ending, you're like no the bitch, whole atmospheric no bitch, vibes. Really good. Yeah. All right. Let so us what's know, next uh, from Miss Linda or other female artists in that same vein? And we'll catch you later. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. People are asking us all the time how they can further support the channel. The best thing you can do is share a video with a friend. And whether it's this one or another one, your favorite video, share it with a friend that likes rock and roll and spread the love.